Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Pooja's Kitchen Time. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Today I am going to show how to make strawberry jam without pectin and how to store it. Here I took fresh strawberries which I have removed the leaves and washed them thoroughly. Now I am gonna crush the strawberries using the blender. You can even use the potato masher to crush them but I found this is the easiest and fastest way to crush them. Now this is ready. I am gonna measure this and then we will get to know how much sugar we need. For each cup of crushed strawberries we need 1 cup of sugar which is 1 is to 1 ratio. Here I ended up with 4.5 cups of crushed strawberries. To this I am going to add 4.5 cups of sugar. Now add 1 fourth cup of lemon juice. Now mix it well and keep it to boil in medium to high heat and stir it in between so it doesn't burn. So it's better to use a heavy bottom pan. It's been 5 to 10 minutes. It started boiling and foaming up on the top. Remove the foam as it contains a lot of air. This might shorten the storage life of the jam. And removing the foam helps to get glossy texture. This has been boiling for about 40 minutes. And remove rest of the foam. Now let's check if the jam is ready. For that, put a little bit of jam into a plate and let it cool down for 2 to 3 minutes. Or you can keep it in the refrigerator to make it fast. It is cooled down now. Run your finger through the jam. If you can make a line through it, it's ready. And if the jam is going to be eaten right away, just refrigerate it and skip the canning method. This is the right consistency and it's ready to be canned or stored. Now for canning, preheat the oven for 250 degree Fahrenheit and keep the mason jar for 30 minutes to ensure that it is heated through and put the lid and the band to the hot water. Now pour the jam to preheat a jar by leaving 1 fourth inch of space at the top. Actually the hot jam heats up the lid even more and helps sealing or you can even put them in the oven for 15 minutes to ensure they are completely sterilized and sealed. Once it is sealed the jam doesn't require refrigeration and will last for a year. This method helps when you are making in a large quantity to preserve them for a long time. I hope you liked today's video. Do give it a try and share me your feedback in the comment box below. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.